latest edition of the SSAT Residence Corner. My name is Monica Krizalik and I'm a general surgery resident at the University of Chicago Medical Center. I completed three clinical years and I'm currently in my second year of that dedicated research time. The topic we will discuss today is how to score well on the AppSite. As you have heard in the July edition of Residence Corner, AppSite scores were the fourth highest ranking criteria used to select fellowship applicants by the program directors. Therefore, performing well in the test cannot be overemphasized. As surgical residents, we are no strangers to tireless learning. We know how to study and how to succeed on exams. After all, we have all graduated from medical school and matched into surgery, not an easy accomplishment. However, studying for a standardized test during busy residency can be very challenging. In college and medical school, we had a lot of time allocated to studying. We had structure and we had constant deadlines in the form of midterms and finals. However, in residency, we have to take initiative to sustain our scholarly growth. Time management becomes extremely important. Today, you will hear from Dr. Konstantin Umansky, who is one of the colorectal attendings at the University of Chicago. He has been very involved in medical education and is a wonderful resource for the residents at UFC. Importantly, he has successfully redesigned our weekly outside preparation curriculum, resulting in sustained overall increase in our program scores. You will also hear from my co-resident, Dr. Puneet Singh, a PGY3 who has done very well on yearly outside exams. Hello, my name is Konstantin Omansky. I'm a colorectal surgeon at the University of Chicago. I'm also a program director of Colon and Rectal Fellowship and also an associate program director in general surgery residency. I would like to talk a little bit today about the app side and the importance of it. As a program director, I view app site performance of the residents as their predictor of whether or not they're likely to do well on the American Board of Surgery qualifying examination. You, as trainees, could use AppSite scores as the gauge of how well you are studying, how well you are performing, and also to help you to get a peace of mind that you are preparing well and your chances of passing the American Board of Surgery Qualifying Examination are good. When you think about a test, there are two components to it. One is test taking itself and the preparation to the test. Test taking itself, I'm sure you have mastered the skill as part of your studying during undergrad and medical school. However, during residency, the challenges of the work hours and being part of the most, one of the most grueling schedules in professional world, we find ourselves extremely tired and often exhausted and studying often goes by the wayside. So when we think about preparing for the test, it's very important to understand that this, the tools that we used when we were in medical school and undergrad don't always work, particularly when we were preparing for the tests and we felt as if we could cram over the last two weeks or so. This might not happen because you can find yourself on a very difficult and challenging rotation at the time when you s decided to set the time aside to prepare, and it might not work. Therefore, for AppSide, it is important to structure your studying schedule in such a way that you prepare all the time. If residents decide to build a schedule, let's say reading half an hour a day and an hour on the weekend, it might be a wonderful setup in theory, but in real life, oftentimes we find ourselves so tired that you simply can't imagine cracking the book open and reading. In order to do that, it is important to create not only a schedule, but a mechanism to adhere to it. In University of Chicago, we found that our residents have difficult times uh, having uh, consistent results on the app side, and they were far highly variable and quite low. The solution to this problem came from observation that athletes, as they prepare for a certain competition, they actually perform exercises and train specifically for that competition. Understandably, in surgery, you have to read required text and material to prepare for cases, to prepare for conference, and just general knowledge. But aside from that, you have to dedicate your time to specifically study for the app site in order to do well on the test. 
I would like to emphasize that reading alone or reading for your rotations oftentimes is insufficient to do well on the app side because the structure of the test sometimes deals with esoteric information that only can be learned if you specifically prepare. When you do that, when you prepare, it is also important to think of what the test you're preparing for, which is taking the test, which in turn involves answering the questions right. Multiple choice standardized exam. And even though you all know how to take standardized exam, it is very important to keep that focus as you're studying for the app side throughout the year. We at University of Chicago came up with uh, an innovative approach to our weekly app site conference where not only the required reading has been is being assigned, but also the conference itself is structured around a weekly quiz. The quiz is a set of questions, 10 to 15 questions that are usually compiled from existing questions from available question bank or residents uh, come up with the questions on their own and they structured similar to the app site format and content. The participants begin by answering the quiz that is then collected and the second part of the app site conference is uh, spent going over the quiz. Now the innovative approach to this is that the attention of the residents immediately peaked by the fact that they have to answer the quiz and therefore by that allowing the program director and associate program director to get a glimpse of how well they're studying, how consistent they're studying, have they been prepared for the AppSite conference. Those who do well tend to consistently do well on other parts of the um, on the AppSite. The residents who fall behind using the quiz as a litmus test allows us to determine whether the residents need help or encouragement or find out if there's something in their personal or professional lives that prevents them from studying and staying on course. I think this uh, combination of uh, taking the test, reviewing it, and being actively involved in studying is something that I personally found when I was a, a resident and have been in your shoes to help me to stay focused. Not only the schedule, but creating a very reliable personal list of uh, checks to make sure that you do weekly tests and go through the critiques. And uh, if you fall behind, then that amount of material that you have uh, allowed to lapse, you have to uh, catch up with. Ultimately, if you do not have the schedule and you allow yourself to cram in the very last month or two before the AppSite exam, you might find that simply the amount of material that you need to go through and the amount of time that you need to do this might simply might not be available. Therefore, I would encourage you to do um, the continuous rigorous studying with obviously emphasis in the last month or two to polish your performance. Best of luck. Thank you. Hi, I'm Puneet Singh, and I'm a third year resident at the University of Chicago. You've heard a lot of great advice on how to do well on the app site. From the resident perspective, there are a number of resources for app site preparation. I have found that the SCORE curriculum in particular is geared towards studying for the test. Every year, I've used the SCORE questions associated with each topic area and thought that they reflected the exam content. They are also a good way of practicing test taking skills and time management. These questions provide immediate feedback and can help you identify topic areas that need more attention. Other study guides and resources have helped me identify high yield topics and can be a great adjunct to the SCORE curriculum and questions. I hope this was helpful and good luck with studying. The best piece of advice that I received from one of my chiefs at the beginning of my training is to start reviewing early. Make a schedule. A lot an hour each week for app site review, whether you do better with questions, review books, or a textbook. Do not fall into the trap of giving yourself a week right before the test. This creates unnecessary stress and exhaustion from cramming. We hope that this session has been helpful. Please do not hesitate to contact us with any questions regarding app site preparation or residency in general. Our email addresses will be displayed at the conclusion of this video. Thank you. Thank you.